really good video of him doing that right there, right? Mm -hmm. okay, I'm not like doing anything. I can't get it off. I've oh. been trying. <laughs> well, you can always just pretend. <laughs> well, I wanted to show moving the shackle down and hooking it on. One, two, three. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Western Carolina, Carolina Sailing, Sailing Club, Club YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Today we're going to talk about how to shorten scope on your mooring. You want to do this when the lake level goes down to reduce the amount of swing room you need in a mooring in the harbor. If you're moored on an outside mooring, you don't need to worry about this as there's plenty of room. So the first thing you want to do is pull in the mooring up to the chain. and pull enough out to where you want to secure the chain. At that point, you want to tie off the chain. We're going to be removing a shackle on the top of the chain. And if you don't have the chain tied off, you can lose the chain completely and the mooring will be lost. Okay, once you've got the chain tied off securely, you're gonna remove the shackle on the top. So first, take off the safety wire. Then remove the shackle. Again, do not remove this shackle unless the chain is securely tied to your boat. Okay, once the safety wire is off, set it aside and loosen and remove the top shackle. You do not need to take off the pennant or the swivel, just loosen the shackle. Now move the shackle to the position on the chain that you want for the proper depth. In this case, we'll move it here for demonstration. You'll need to pull the link to put the pin through the end of the link. Screw the shackle back on. Tighten the shackle and replace the safety wire. Now you can lower it back into the water. Take off your safety line. And lower it back down. Just let whatever excess chain there is on top hang over the top of the ball. Even though the ball may sit sideways because of the weight of the chain, it'll still function properly. There's no reason to change your pennant setup. And I can't stress enough, make sure the chain is tied off securely to your boat before you take off that top shackle. To lengthen your chain as the water rises back up, you'll do the reverse process pulling it up the chain, taking the shackle off, and moving it to the end link or the appropriate length. That's how you adjust chain for uh, change of scope.
And this is why you can't tighten them with that giant wrench so tight. 